120 new shocking assault allegations against Sean Diddy Combs have just surfaced. And this time, the situation is nothing short of explosive. A Texas-based attorney named Tony Busby is now representing a staggering number of accusers, 120 individuals who are all pointing the finger at Diddy. But this isn't just about the numbers. These allegations span over 20 years and include claims of violence, with controlled substances, and even more jaw-dropping accusations you won't believe. This legal storm might be the end of the once-revered music mogul as we know him. The floodgates opened during a press conference where Busby didn't hold back. He talked about powerful people, dark secrets, and evidence that'll shock the industry. According to him, his team has managed to collect damning pictures, videos, and text messages that paint a picture far more sinister than what the public ever imagined. We're not just talking about one or two accusations here. We're talking about a pattern of behavior that Busby claims Diddy has been hiding behind for decades. And as if that wasn't enough, Busby also hinted that the evidence could implicate several other high-profile individuals in the entertainment industry. So, who else is entangled in this web? We'll get into that later. One of the most shocking details is that some of these allegations involve minors, with claims going back as far as 1991. Imagine over 30 years of accusations being brought to light all at once. Busby revealed that out of the 120 individuals he's representing, 25 of them were minors when the alleged incidents occurred. One user claims to have been as young as 9 years old when the abuse took place. These stories aren't just about adults. They highlight a disturbing pattern of predatory behavior that has supposedly spanned decades. And what's even scarier, the attorneys say this might only be the beginning. Busby's team has reportedly been inundated with calls. Over 3,000 individuals have contacted his office with claims against Combs. That's right, over 3,000. This legal firestorm isn't confined to just one area either. According to Busby, his accusers come from more than 25 states across the U.S., with the highest concentrations in New York, California, Georgia, and Florida. The sheer scale of this makes it one of the biggest cases in entertainment history. Now, Diddy's legal team isn't staying silent. They've already come out swinging, calling these allegations false and defamatory. Erica Wolf, one of his attorneys, released a statement saying, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he abused anyone, including minors. She insists that this is all part of a reckless media circus that's been building against him for years. But with the amount of evidence Busby claims to have, the court battles ahead might reveal a completely different story. Could this be the beginning of Diddy's downfall? What makes this even more compelling is Diddy's current legal situation. He's being detained at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn after being charged with trafficking, racketeering, and transportation for prostitution. An indictment against him was unsealed just last month. His legal team was already filed a paperwork to appeal the bail decision twice, but so far both attempts have been denied. The stakes have never been higher for the hip-hop icon, and the clock is ticking. Interestingly, Tony Busby isn't just some attorney looking for his moment in the spotlight. He's been involved in other high-profile cases before, like the Deepwater Horizon oil spill lawsuit in 2010 and the Deshaun Watson sexual misconduct cases in 2021. If history is any indication, Busby has a track record of going after powerful figures and winning. And this time, he's not just gunning for Diddy, he's after the entire system that he says allowed this behavior to go unchecked for so long. We will expose the enablers who enabled this conduct behind closed doors, Busby vowed. So, if you think Diddy's the only one who's going to get caught up in this legal storm, think again. Remember how Diddy's legal troubles initially started? It all kicked off last year when his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura filed a civil lawsuit against him, accusing him of assault and trafficking throughout their relationship. Though Diddy settled with Cassie for an undisclosed amount, the situation only escalated from there. A leaked surveillance video showing Diddy brutally assaulting Cassie in a Los Angeles hotel hallway went viral, causing public outrage. The footage was undeniable, and while Diddy issued a public apology, the damage had already been done. 
It seems that this case might have been just the tip of the iceberg, and now the whole iceberg is surfacing. Following Cassie's lawsuit, other former associates of Diddy have come forward with their own accusations. One particularly high-profile case involves Don Richard, a former member of the girl group Danity Kane, who claims that Diddy not only groped her, but also assaulted, imprisoned, and threatened her. If this sounds familiar, it's because these types of accusations are eerily consistent across the board, painting a pattern that stretches far beyond one or two isolated incidents. Diddy's response to these multiple allegations has been swift and dismissive. He's labeled them as sickening and accused his accusers of being opportunists chasing a quick payday. However, with the sheer number of lawsuits stacked up against him, it's becoming increasingly difficult for him to brush these claims aside as just baseless accusations. What's fascinating and equally concerning is that many of these lawsuits are being filed in New York City under the Victims of Gender Motivated Violence Protection Law. This law allows people to file lawsuits alleging abuse even if the statute of limitations has expired, meaning that all those skeletons that he thought were safely locked away in the closet are now back to haunt him. This legal framework gives power to those who may have thought it was too late to seek justice, making this case even more groundbreaking. But it's not just about the lawsuits, there's also talk about shocking new evidence. Busby hinted that his team has managed to obtain videos that prove some of the most damning allegations. And here's where it gets even more twisted. These aren't just your regular, grainy, low-quality recordings. We're talking about footage that supposedly shows Diddy engaging in explicit, non-consexual acts with some of his victims. If these tapes turn out to be real, it could spell disaster, not only for Diddy's career, but for the music industry as a whole. The music mogul's empire, once seen as an unshakable fortress of success and wealth, is now crumbling under the weight of these allegations. From Siroc Vodka to his fashion lines, Diddy has built a brand that's synonymous with success, luxury, and power. But with each new accusation, that brand is taking a serious hit. Companies are already distancing themselves from him and his name. Once a sign of status and luxury is quickly becoming associated with scandal and controversy. How long before it all comes crashing down? In a case as complex and wide-reaching as this, there are bound to be more twists and turns. With 120 accusers stepping forward and 3,000 more waiting in the wings, the fallout could go beyond just Diddy. We could see a complete shakeup of the music industry as we know it. As Tony Busby said, many powerful people, many dirty secrets. It's not just Diddy's career on the line. This could open up a Pandora's box for the entire entertainment world. So, what happens next? Busby has made it clear that he's not stopping until justice is served. He plans to file these lawsuits within the next 30 days. And when that happens, all eyes will be on the courtroom. As more names are revealed, more details come out, and potentially more high-profile figures get implicated. This case could become one of the biggest scandals in music history. We'll be following every detail as it unfolds. So, you won't want to miss what happens next. If you've got thoughts on this shocking news, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates as this story develops.